Okay. Okay, good. As we were saying, I've just shared my whole uh, browser screen so you get to see. I'm getting Can see. Can you see my screen? Can you get me? Can you see my screen? Yes, I'm seeing it. Okay, good. As we were saying, this is your CV. Look at it very well. I love your introduction, Yakubo Beatrice. You've done it so good. Yes, I'm getting sir. Laboratory, medical laboratory sciences, university lecturer, and research research slash. I think you should go and re re remove that research and leave data analysis. Data analyst. Remove the research. <clears throat> Top skills we have team management, university teaching, public speaking. Okay, you you need to build your profile again to review that. If not, uh, LinkedIn is going to be respecting just that only. So if we look at it again, as I was showing you before, you're going to notice that below you still have a lot to do. Completely, like really, completely a lot, especially on job description. Okay, but now let me take you to the LinkedIn practicals. I think we discussed about these other areas in uh okay. in, um in the Google Meet, right? Let, let me take you to LinkedIn practically. You get the point. Okay. Yes, okay. Yes, Here is my LinkedIn. I'm fully on my profile. Now imagine I want to edit. If I want my um if I want my document precisely to, to bear where I am, where I live, or maybe my city, my phone number, especially as mine is bearing here, like let me highlight it in these particular places where it shows Yaounde, Cameroon, contact, and this. You come to mm. your link, you're going to have here. It's as though you're editing a full profile, but it's just a section of your LinkedIn you're editing. Oh, the network is a little bit sluggish. Okay, good. You look at it here. Now, Dango, George, Kabila, yes. And I come below again. <clears throat> These are the key information that will appear. Now, you come here, this particular area, edit contact info. That's what people mainly miss because once printing your CV from LinkedIn, it is here that it carries this particular place carries everything. Your email must have been attached, your phone number, you determine whether it's mobile or not. Yaounde Cameroon, you're the one to place all of this information, your date of birth and all of that. If you have a website, you attach a website to it, really, yes, yeah, so that people get to know some of the things you are doing. Like, for instance, let me say I want to attach a website or oh, like my website that was built some days ago. I simply come to, let's see, if you have, that's if you have a website. I will not attach it now here. That's not uh, really the core for our lesson. You come and attach a website and you click save at the end. It automatically saves everything. You have so once you print your document, all of this will appear. Let's go to another aspect. Now, below again, if you look at the cover page, the cover information, yeah, I do build that for people. That's when I'm building your LinkedIn full and all of that. So we have this, all of this. Okay. Below, let me just be going below. <clears throat> so some of the people who have built my profile today, just of recent. Okay, so before again, we're going to be seeing some of these. Now, experience. Now, let me say I want to edit my experience because I think that's one of the greatest places you had a problem. When I edit my experience, I come here to edit. All the points you see here, you see it on the PowerPoint, on the PDF here, those points, these are them. All. So I, I want to edit my experience. 
I come here and let's say I want to edit this. Simply the, 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 the points I uh, enumerated or maybe actually put on link on my CV, I simply come copy all the points and come and paste them here precisely. Are you still with me? I'm still with you, so I'm very king following you. Good. So I simply copy them from my CV and come and put here. So most people fail to understand that you have to build your CV first very well before coming to post it on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is an extended part of your document you have as a CV you have built. So it, it, it just facilitates everything in such a way that you go and save all of the things you do online. The difference with a professional CV and or like a customized CV with your LinkedIn profile is that your LinkedIn can carry your experience. If you have been a primary school teacher and now you're a university lecturer, it will carry all the experience from primary school teaching right up to present it as a university lecturer. But now once you want to apply for a job, you are simply going to, if it is by email, make sure that your CV carries your LinkedIn link. One. The second part of it is that you are simply going to make the points to be five, not up to eight, like you see on LinkedIn. LinkedIn points are always enumerated up to eight, even up to 10 points on your job description. But you put only five as per uh, the companies you work with, the various companies. That is to make your link, your CV very brief and straight to the point so that the person can read. If the person wants more knowledge about you, they will click on the link you put on your CV, the LinkedIn link, and go and read all your profile on LinkedIn. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Good. So that is it. So if you see all of this, I've done the same for all. Let me be going down. See, I've done the same for all. All, all, actually all. I've done the same for all. Now, let's go to your profile. I've done the same for all. So you have to do the same for all, everything. Let's go to your profile. That's Yakobo Bitru. Uh, Yakobo Bitru. <clears throat> Yakobo Bitru. This is it. It appears your on my timeline, my network, my first degree network. Man, that your photo behind there. I don't think you're angry with somebody. Change it. Look for money. And take a very good photo and just be super handsome and come out handsome. That photo, make sure you're not angry with somebody before you come and post your photo online. Are we there? Yes. Sir. yes. I'm this. Good. Congratulations. Your sir. network has increased from the last time we spoke. Actually, you're now 260. You were 100 and something. You are 260. That's good. You're great, man. <clears throat> okay. Yes. I uh, hope that I uh, occupy with doing certain things. There are things that, uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, so when you come below, you're going to see, you're going to see all of, this is your information. If I need your CV, uh, I'm simply going to click download, save, save and automatically it will save in my machine. So as I'm viewing your LinkedIn, uh, LinkedIn, the LinkedIn company, as I'm viewing your profile, the LinkedIn company is simply going to send you an notification I have viewed your profile. So that is it. You look at it, everything you're about, I see everything, your activity, you click like. Now, once it comes here, precisely, that's where you have a problem. The points are not well stated. It has to really be enumerated. If you are a university lecturer at International Business School, uh, chartered, International Chartered Business School, you go below and ask, you really, 
state a lot of things, explain the things you lecture, explain the things you teach, you lecture students, the, the number of hours, the work schedules and all of that, how many courses, how many students you lecture. Are you lecturing two students? Because one person is a university lecturer lecturing 500 students and you are equally a university lecturer, you could, may have been lecturing two students. So you really enumerate it, like really make it available. So that is it. Now, the skills, as we said, that's good. You've really mentioned the skills beneath your experiences. That's good. You keep up with this precisely. Now, another aspect. Let me see if you've optimized your LinkedIn. Oh, you're not a creator on LinkedIn. You cannot pull a lot of people to your LinkedIn yet. Let me go to my profile and show you what it means to be a creator on LinkedIn. Are we there? Yes, sir. Good. You are open to work, medical laboratory technologies, associate lecturer and research role, statistician rules. That's good. That one is good. Now, let me go to my profile <clears throat> and show you something on optimization. Now, optimization tells LinkedIn that these are the things you talk about. And so it refers to your program, your profile to many people who are searching for people doing the things you do. Okay. I'm highlighting something. Look at it very well. It talks about business, career coaching, entrepreneurship, and healthcare industry. Have you seen that? Yes, I've seen it, sir. Good. Now let's go down. This is where you this is where you make that happen. Create a move. It's on your profile. Go and click on it, and it is here I'm going to ask you the key things you talk about. Do you talk about laboratory? Do you talk about laboratory industry? Do you talk about medical laboratory industry? What do you talk about? Yes. You get a point. Yes, sir. It is going to, it is going to ask you what you talk about, the things you communicate about. Now, take note that once you put most of these things on your profile, do not deviate. For instance, you can talk about a lot of things, but when I say do not deviate, try as much as possible. Most of your posts, your comments, your your the, your communication is professional and it is linking towards your industries, your specific industry, medical laboratory. You're posting on medical laboratory. You're following people who do more with medical laboratory. Uh, yeah. You, you medical industry, medical research, statistics, medical statistics, and all of that, public health statistics. You get a point. Are we there? Yes, sir. Yeah, so so uh that is it. Any questions? Any questions? Once you are done with this, I may have another, the next time we'll have a uh, Google Meet session, I'm going to be reviewing your profile. Any questions? Okay, sir. Thank you so much for the wonderful, yes. Thank you so much for the wonderful uh, meeting today. Nice. And I have a little bit of worries mm -hmm. concerning the optimization of profiles. Yes. And I've been, I've done an internship in the hospitals. Yes. Right? Yeah. As a student. And uh, I don't know if I have to put them under experience or is there is a particular place that I have to put those uh, internships. Okay, good. Put them under experience. Look at the screen again. Let me show you another thing. Put them under experience. This is how you appear. Let me show you. I see my screen. Yes, I'm seeing, sir. Good. Imagine I want to edit this and say healthcare consultant and I'm doing my internship. Look at it very well. I'm going to come here and put there is full time, there is part time, there's self employed, there's freelance, there's contract, there's internship. This is it. There's apprenticeship and there is seasonal. I think they have just added there was, there was never apprenticeship. 
it has been added for technical institutions and seasonal. Seasonal means maybe just you go there once in a while and come back. So it has been added. Are we there? Yes, sir. So you can put everything you did in school, even the internship, and come and click here, internship. Internship. Now, okay, sir, and understood. And if there are many, sir, like for... bro, if there are many, put them all. Okay, sir. And, and even if, concerning the university is, lecture that you saw, um, <laughs> if if it is uh two weeks, it may not be too valid. If it is one month, two months, three months, now that is valid. All is more than all is more than six weeks, sir. Good. If it's more than six weeks, bro, go and, go and load them on your LinkedIn, man. Okay. And even concerning the the experience, for example, I'm a university lecturer, right? Yes. Hello? I guess you can. And uh, all of what, where I'm teaching, I'm doing the part-time. Uh-huh. All where I'm teaching, I'm doing the part-time. Good. That's good. And uh, should I load everything the same? Should I write everything under the description the same or there have to be uh, differences? Yeah, it could be the same thing. If you are teaching the same thing in every places, in all the schools, right? You can have the same thing. You get the point. Yeah. But now let me ask you a question. Do they have the same yes, number sir. of students per class? No, sir. Now, do you have the same time schedule, but you may be teaching statistics somewhere and all of that is separate. Maybe you can go now on the statistics lecturer and you get the point. Uh, okay, that means if I understand you, I will indicate the courses that I'm teaching in that particular school, the number of students. Good, that's in the description. Good. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, I'll do that, sir. Any further question? Any further question? And when you talked of... Uh, when you talked of industry when by the time I'll create the I'll on the creator mode now what I'd be, I usually worry about the clinical part of the laboratory with the teaching experience okay now in the, in the industry part, you can go and type medical. It is it's LinkedIn that is going to suggest for you. Medical industry, medical laboratory. You get a point. You type medical laboratory. It is going to suggest for you. You click what they have suggested. You can never put anything new. You get a point. Yes, sir. So that is it. Okay, thank you so much. Sir. I think for now is to work on it, and then, as you said, by the next meeting, at least I will work on it. Sir. Yeah, the next meeting should not be later than two weeks. Two weeks, as um, as we are dropping this, it should not be later than it should not be later than the 24th. Okay. Yes. Once you're ready, you write me and tell me I'll be ready. You'll just be 30 minutes maximum and all of that. I'm going to review your LinkedIn and everything. <clears throat> okay, sir. Okay. See you. Cheers, man. High five. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, sir, for the lesson. I'm going to I'm going to upload this. Uh, the video on my YouTube and put it there private, but I'm going to send you the link. Meaning only you and I will be able to watch it for now. It is going to be there for some time, maybe for six months before I make it public. 
Okay, sir. Okay. Three are the top rules. Okay, thank you, sir.